Is there something wrong with your Thermador dishwasher? No need to make a fuss. This repair guide will cover error codes, simple troubleshooting, and other useful tips on how to get your unit back on track. For more information, check out our website. There's a link in the description. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Thermador dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Thermador dishwasher error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code E01. Problem. Fault with the electronics detected in the self-test. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. Code E02. Problem. Fault with the electronics detected in the self-test. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. Code E03. Problem. Fault with the electronics detected in the self-test. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. Code E04. Problem. Fault with the electronics detected in the self-test. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. Code E05. Problem. Fault with the electronics detected in the self-test. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. Code E06. Problem. Fault detected with the door sensor or in the electronics. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. Code E07. Problem. Fault in the drying system of the dishwasher. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. Code E09. Problem. Fault in the heating system of the dishwasher. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. Code E10. Problem. Fault in drying system of the dishwasher. Fix. Faults can only be eliminated by an experienced engineer. If you're looking for help fixing your Thermador dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Thermador dishwasher troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. No power. The motor won't start. First, check the housebreaker or fuse. Next, make sure that the dishwasher is plugged into the correct wall socket. The door is interlocked so that no fill or wash can occur while it's open. Check that the door locking lever is fully closed. This will close the door switch. Also, check that the door switch is not defective. Is the motor buzzing? If so, the motor is locked up. It may be that something is jamming the pump. It may also be that the pump or motor bearings are bad. Or the motor windings are fried. Noisy operation. Usually. It is caused by bits of broken glass or rust getting into the pump impeller or spray arms. It is also frequently caused by worn out bearings in the pump or electric motor. Wasted pump bearings are a notably common problem in Maytag belt driven machines. Try removing the spray arms and clearing them of debris. This can be difficult, and it may be easier to replace them. Take the pump housing apart and try turning the pump and motor shafts by hand. It should be smooth, without too much resistance. Any gritty feeling indicates bad bearings or stuff contacting the pump impeller. Tub fills. But no wash or no drain motor not running. If you hear the motor trying to start something is locking it up. It may be jammed with bits of food or glass. It may also be that a starting winding is burnt out. If the machine is direct reversing and it does start in one direction but not the other. Then a starting winding is definitely burnt. Disassemble or remove the pump and motor unit. Clear whatever is jamming it. If you suspect that the motor is bad. If you don't even hear the motor trying to start. The timer contacts may be burnt out. There is also a motor starting relay. If this fails. It will cause similar symptoms. No fill. This is usually a defective water valve solenoid or clogged water valve. Try cleaning out the strainer screen. Also test the solenoid for continuity. Replace the valve if defective. When replacing the fill valve. Use an OEM part. Or at least make sure the flow control washer is the same as in the original machine. Aftermarket parts may have a different flow control washer. Which can cause high or low water fill in your machine. It could also be caused by the anti-flood float switch being stuck or defective. Rarely, but possibly, it can be traced to a burned contact inside the timer. Water leaking onto floor. If water is coming out the front of the machine. It's usually leaky door seals. But there are a few other suspects. The wrong soap can cause suds. Which can leak out even if the seals are good. There are also some designs which can develop a water jet that blows water past the door seal. Check for these problems first. If you still suspect the door seal. 
try cleaning any accumulated detergent or other gunk from it. If water is coming from beneath the machine, it is usually coming from pump seals, but it could also be coming from a hose or from the fill or drain solenoid valve. Remove the kick plate and operate the machine while looking beneath it. Try to isolate the leak by watching where the water drips on the floor. Remember that there are live wires under there. Don't stick your hands in there while the machine is plugged in. If you're looking for help fixing your Thermador dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Thermador dishwasher repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. Thermador manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Thermador appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Thermador dishwasher not draining. The drain impeller pushes water through the drain hose and into the garbage disposer or drain line. If the impeller is broken, replace it. The drain pump uses an impeller to force water through the drain hose. If the drain pump motor is not working, the dishwasher won't drain. To determine if the drain pump is defective, check the pump motor for continuity using a multimeter. If the motor does not have continuity, or if it's getting power but won't run, replace the drain pump. Drain pumps are not repairable if the drain pump is defective. You must replace it. Thermador dishwasher leaking. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the water inlet valve is stuck open, the dishwasher will continue to fill with water until the dishwasher leaks or overflows. If the water inlet valve is at fault, replace it. Water inlet valves are not repairable if the valve is defective. You must replace it. Thermador dishwasher lights flashing or blinking. The heating element heats up the water to operating temperature. If the water doesn't reach the proper temperature after a set amount of time, a light on the control panel might start flashing. To determine if the heating element has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the heating element does not have continuity, replace it. Thermador dishwasher buttons not working. First, confirm that the dishwasher display is working. If the display is still working, try pressing some of the touchpad buttons. If some of the buttons respond correctly but others don't, it is likely that the touchpad is at fault. Some manufacturers sell the touchpad separately from the control panel. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the touchpad and control panel together. If you cannot replace the touchpad individually, replace the touchpad and control panel. Thermador dishwasher not cleaning. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the valve is clogged or defective, the dishwasher won't get enough water to clean dishes properly. If the water inlet valve is clogged, replace it. Do not attempt to clean the water inlet valve. Cleaning the valve could make it more likely to fail. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.